super, super cool. And this just kind of speaks to the direction that we are heading with AI, where we're gonna be able to be hands off the wheel, having AI even researching to assist itself, which is kind of what we're seeing here. So a glimpse into the future, really exciting stuff. I have got a fun one for you today, a very different kind of video, super experimental, but I'm really excited to show you what I have been playing around with. So first of all, AI coding assistants, whether they're in the browser, like with Bolt.new or Autodev, or as an IDE, like Windsurf or Cursor, are so powerful and save you hours and hours building literally any prototype for an app that you could dream of. But one major flaw with all of these is that they don't have external knowledge for crucial things like library documentation. And so you have this issue where they're not up to date with a lot of things that you might want to code. And what do I mean by that? Well, let me just go ahead and show you. All right, so I'm in the UI for Bolt because we are gonna build an app that I can guarantee will fail even though Bolt is an incredible AI coding assistant. Now the reason I can guarantee this is because we are going to build an app around a library that I know any LLM does not have knowledge of because it's a smaller library and it's relatively new as well. And the library is called N8N Demo. It's essentially what allows N8N to display preview widgets on their website for their AI automation workflows. And so they have some instructions here on how to add it in your HTML. They have installation guides for how to include the script tags for all the JavaScript you need for it. But all of this information, a large language model like Claude 3.5 Sonnet used in Bolt does not have access to. This is the issue of external knowledge. So I'm gonna paste in this prompt here to build a front end to display an N8N workflow with the N8N demo tool. And I give it the JSON for the workflow as well. But as you're about to see here, it is gonna completely botch this because it doesn't have the information on this library that I just showed you to actually build this out. So what I'm gonna do here is pause and come back once Bolt is done trying to create this application. So I had Bolt give its best shot and it completely failed just as I predicted. And I, again, I wanna say this is not Bolt's fault at all. It is an incredible AI coding assistant. You're gonna have this exact same problem with Cursor, Windsurf, Autodev, it doesn't matter because it doesn't have the external knowledge of this N8N demo library. And so it even failed installing the dependencies here. It tried to fetch it from NPM, didn't do this right, totally botched it. We have no preview here. I even had it try to fix itself and we've got nothing because it just doesn't know how to work with this library. It's plain and simple. It's almost as if we need a rag for an AI coding assistant where we could somehow go out to the internet, fetch this information for how to use it and then also how to install it with the script tags and then feed that into the prompt to augment it so it has that information. And so you could build this into a platform like Bolt where it'd go and research the web before it actually fulfills your request, for example. Uh, but what if you have other platforms that you wanna integrate with where you have your own knowledge of your documentation and your code and stuff that you wanna reference? It might actually be easier if you could just have an artificial intelligence controlling your computer, doing all this research for you on libraries and things like that, and then going back into something like Bolt and injecting what it finds in the prompt before it kicks off the code build. And that is exactly what I'm gonna show you how to do right now using the Claude API for computer use. So it's gonna be really, really fun, super experimental, but let's dive right into it. So what is the Claude computer use API? Well, really it's exactly what you think it is. It is a way to use Claude to control your computer and do things for you like type in your input boxes, search the web, click through different applications, and it works so, so well. And it's really, it's a first of its kind, which is what allows us to do what I'm about to show you here. And if you scroll through this article, which I'll have linked in the description, you'll see a link here for a reference implementation. Clicking on this is going to bring you to this GitHub repository right here, where you can run it yourself with Docker very, very easily. And it's gonna spin up a virtual machine so that you have the cloud computer use API working within this environment that's just in the browser. It looks like this, I'll show you right here. Um, and so it's not actually controlling your full computer, just this virtual machine right here, because obviously it's kind of a security concern. They have a lot of caution around that if it's really controlling your computer. So they recommend running in an environment that looks like this, where you can prompt Claude on the left side and then have this kind of fake machine spun up for us on the right hand side. And this is what we're gonna be playing with right now. So it's so cool how it's easy to get started. You don't have to worry about security because this is all experimental. You just play around in this little test environment here. 
and that's what we're going to be doing. So I have Bolt spun up right here. I'm signed in. It's just like I'm working in the browser on my own computer. But what I can do on the left hand side here in the Streamlit UI after I set my Anthropic API key is I can tell it what I want it to do. And so what I'm going to have it do is research the N8N demo component for me, figure out how to use it, how to install it, and then inject that into a prompt in bolt.new, have it create the full application for me, and this entire time I'm gonna be doing nothing. Hands off the wheel, it's just gonna be Claude navigating within this environment right here. And so, yeah, let's go ahead and try it out. So as this is very experimental, I'm gonna do a little bit of hand-holding in my prompt to Claude to give it a bit of information on how to research the N8N demo component. This kind of thing is not gonna be something you can do to build any application or work with any library, but at some point it is going to get there with the power of large language models, where you're gonna be able to describe in just a couple of sentences what you want, and it's gonna be able to do all the research in the world you need to feed the kind of context in to something like Bolt, or like I said, there might just be that kind of integration right in these AI coding assistants. And so the prompt that I have here, I'll paste it on the left-hand side. I'm basically telling it you have access to Bolt.new, which I have up for you in the browser. Your job is to do some research on the N8N demo component. Here's the website to go and do that research. That's the bit of the hand-holding that I was describing. It could potentially Google it itself, but it might find the wrong resource. Um, so I'm just guiding it there. And then I'm telling it the workflow JSON that I want to include for my N8N workflow preview. And then I give it some instructions on how to actually fulfill my request here. So again, a little bit of handholding, but it's just still so, so cool what it can actually do. So I'm gonna start in just a blank tab in Firefox here, send it in, and let's see what this thing can do. So I'm going to fast forward as it goes through the, all the actions here and come back and start talking again once it is done. All right, so it doesn't show anything right now, and it's because it messed up its research just a little bit. Uh, if I scroll up to the top of the prompt here, it didn't give all of the script tags to include, it just included one. So it messed up a little bit. So I'm gonna have it fix itself here. Again, this is all experimental. Can't expect it to work super well right now, but it's just so cool the direction that we are heading with AI that it's getting to the point where you could probably do this kind of thing pretty soon here. So I'm gonna have it correct itself. I'm gonna say, you need uh, these three script tags. So I'll paste it in, boom, and then have it update itself. And then um, I'll come back again once it has finished this iteration. Boom, all right, we can click show workflow. And this isn't actually going to work because you can't have iframes within the web container, but that's totally okay because what we can do is just deploy it to Netlify now, and then I will actually be able to view it in Netlify. And yeah, I've tested this before, it works really, really well. Every single time the iframe doesn't work. So the LLM didn't mess up here, it's just getting blocked by a course policy or something like that. Um, so let, let's have it deploy to Netlify and then try it out there. All right, great, so now we have Netlify, so I'm gonna click on this link, and then I'm also going to full screen it here. So boom, there we go, all right, N8N Workflow Viewer. It's loading my workflow, and there we go, we got the preview widget, um, and we can zoom in, zoom out, click into the node, and look at that, this is absolutely fantastic. And obviously it's a super basic uh, JSON workflow for a single node right now, but you could have any N8N workflow displayed on the site in this way. Super, super cool. We built this all without having to touch anything besides that little correction at the end there. Um, but you could see that if I didn't have the Claude Computer Use API do that research before this, it completely botched it. it, didn't even come close, but now it actually got that information it needed on how to create this widget and install it with a little bit of hand-holding from me. Super, super cool. And this just kind of speaks to the direction that we are heading with AI, where we're gonna be able to be hands off the wheel, having AI even researching to assist itself, which is kind of what we're seeing here. So a glimpse into the future, really exciting stuff. If this doesn't get you jazzed up, I don't know what will. It is just so cool to me that I have a large language model research the web on library documentation for me, craft a beautiful prompt to then feed it 
it into another LLM that writes all the code, runs all the commands, spins up this environment for me to play around with the website, and I barely had to hold its hand. And I definitely will have to less and less as large language models get more powerful. And as we start to do things like even creating documentation on the web specifically for AI to scrape, I think that's a big thing coming in the future as well. So. I hope that this demo is just a nice little glimpse into the future for you because it's definitely gonna get to a point where RAG for AI coding assistance, as I'm calling it, is gonna be very doable, either through computer use like I showed or just direct integrations within these AI IDEs like Windsurf, for example. So just so, so cool. And yeah, very experimental at this point but it's gonna get very real, very, very fast. So if you appreciated this, I would really appreciate a like and a subscribe. And with that, I will see you in the next video.